the Tesla Model S and Model X are now 8 and 5 years old respectively, and some evidence shows that Tesla is working on a refresh of these vehicles. Let's uncover what will change in the new versions and why it is much more important than what you think. You're watching On Forward. As I said, the Model S and Model X are becoming a little outdated, especially when compared to the new Model 3 and Model Y. The affordable options are more appealing than the premium versions in many aspects. Take into account that the Model S came back in 2012, at that moment it didn't even have the hardware for autopilot and, except for a cleaner front bumper, which looks much better in my opinion, it has barely changed visually. And I know in 2019, Elon said there was no refresh coming for the Model S and Model X, but Tesla is known for changing its plans quickly. And most importantly, we have evidence that major changes are coming on these models. Even if it was happening, I don't think Elon would say it right now, because if he does, he would kill the Model S and Model X demand, because everyone would wait for the next version. And on top of that, the Model 3 and Model Y are already cannibalizing sales of these cars. So, let me talk to you about Project Palladium. It has been confirmed to be a real thing by Electrek, and it involves a series of changes and upgrades to the Model S and Model X. According to inside sources from Tesla, this refresh will include new drive units, which will enable the tri-motor configuration. This will be the base for the Plaid Model S. Improving the drivetrain means it will have even better specs than what it has now. Currently, the top performance Model S launches from 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds and has a top speed of 163 miles per hour. That's already impressive but I think Tesla also wants to keep the Model S positioned as one of the best performing cars, and some competitors are getting really close, like Porsche with the Taycan. Also, according to these sources, the new versions are expected to include new battery modules. One possibility is that Tesla upgrades the battery cells to the 2170 version which are the cells used in the Model 3 and Model Y, but I think Tesla will go further with the upgrade. In my opinion, the new Model S and Model X will have the new batteries made entirely by Tesla, and this could mean it includes tech from Maxwell Technologies, such as the dry electrode coating. It could also have even better charging speeds, because for a long time, the Model 3 and Model Y had better charging rates than the Model S and Model X, and that really makes no sense from a product tier perspective. Recently, Tesla updated the premium models, and now all the cars have the same maximum charging speed, which is 250 kilowatts. We'll probably know more about this new battery technology in the Tesla battery day, so consider subscribing so you don't miss out on that. I am calling this update a refresh, because on top of the technology improvements, it is supposed to also include an exterior and interior redesign. We'll start with the exterior. The Project Palladium also involves creating new production lines for the Model S and Model X, which means these body changes are significant. But I have a hard time imagining how far Tesla will go. Will it be similar to the modified Model S? we saw at Nürburgring, or Tesla will go crazier with the design closer to this rendering? Tell me what you think in the comments below. As I said, according to documents reviewed by Electrek, Tesla also plans to make an interior redesign for the Model S and Model X. I think it is totally necessary to change the center console display to a horizontal orientation. At first, when I saw it on the Model 3's presentation, I didn't like it but now I think it is much more useful this way. And I believe Tesla thinks the same way. The Model S we saw at Nürburgring had a horizontal display, 
among all the other modifications. And according to these images, this display would have a bezel-less design, which has a cleaner and more premium look in my opinion. Another thing they'll adopt from the Model 3 and Model Y interior is the air vent design, which looks a lot better than traditional air vents. Finally, they've designed the instrument cluster to be a lot smaller. Looks like Tesla is definitely aiming this refresh for autonomous driving. For example, to watch Netflix or play games on the center screen, the horizontal orientation is much better. And this makes sense, if Tesla is close to achieving full self-driving, the interior of their cars should be designed around this. Ok, but why the name Palladium? According to Wikipedia, Palladium is a metal with some interesting usages. For example, it is used for the electrodes of multilayer capacitors, which could be a hint of some introduction of Maxwell's ultra-capacitors on these cars. But also it could be something much more boring, like some kind of Mach 2 ice cars, which use palladium for catalytic converters on their exhausts. Either way, it is an interesting name. The Model S and Model X didn't receive major changes in years, and they are starting to feel a little bit outdated compared to the new versions. You can see this in the vehicle deliveries graph. The demand for the Model S and Model X has declined significantly. Tesla needs to bring back the excitement for its flagship vehicles, and there is no better way of doing this than refreshing the design and make them more appealing than the mass market options and the competition, of course. I think Tesla will keep this as a secret as long as they can, so the current Model S and Model X demand doesn't suffer even more. If they announce the refresh now, Everyone that is thinking on buying a Model S or Model X now will probably wait for the new version. I think these new models will be offered at a much higher price point, and this will mean better margins for Tesla on these cars. Thank you for watching all the way through. Here are two more videos that you may like. See you soon.